as necessary as it is to make publications, especially for academics, is a lot more necessary, required and beneficial to you, having these publications in the very hands of people that really need them for readership and for citation. So for that reason, I'll be talking about citation databases and how you can profile yourself there. But precisely, I'll be talking about Google Scholar. Yeah, I am Samuel Ojo and welcome to my channel. Kindly subscribe for more videos like this. Cite Google Scholar is a product from Google. And before you can profile yourself there, it therefore implies that you must have a Gmail account. In having a Gmail account, you could have an institutional email account or a personal or public Gmail account. The point is that you must have a Gmail account before you can have the benefits of profiling yourself on Google Scholar. Now, to get that done, the first thing you need to do is come to scholar.google.com. You click on it, it brings you here, okay? By the right answer, you will see sign in. This implies that I don't have an email, I don't have an email address signed in on this browser. Before you can explore Google Scholar, there is a need for you to have a Gmail account with Google. So what you need to do then is click on sign in. Okay, you sign in into the email account. Right here, I'm gonna use my official, I'm gonna use one of the official email account from University of Abuja, okay? Then input your password, okay? After that, you, that gets you into the Gmail account then you'll be able to have access to the Google Scholar as a product, okay? So the next thing to do after that, after you've gotten you've gotten yourself signed in is come by the left hand side, you'll see my profile. Click on my profile, okay? After clicking on my profile, you'll see the name. So you could put the name the way you want it to appear and preferably put it the way you always have your name on your articles. Put it the way you want it to be on your articles okay i could put mine uh, as let me say somewhere okay. if that is the name i always have on my journal articles okay then the affiliation that is the, the institution you are connected to now some of you let me assume that i'm a professor of education university of let me say the name Professor of Education, Investor of Benin. Then email verification, that's gonna be your, of your email address. Now your area of interest. My area of interest is adult basic education. Then uh, put as many as possible, okay? So your, your own page, that's the website address where you are profiled. Then you click next. Immediately you do a click. It opens up to you what you are seeing on your screen. So it will start displaying names that are corresponding to what you have imputed as your own name. Okay, now you have created a Google Scholar profile. The next thing to do is to identify publications that are under you, publications that you have done. Okay, so what Google Scholar does is it's going to fetch all the email, I mean, it's going to fetch all publications that are corresponding to Number one, your name in Google Scholar database is going to pull up all articles that are corresponding with your area of interest from Google Scholar. It's going to pull them up. So you start identifying those that are actually your own. Okay. All I need to do is do a click on this button. And immediately you do a click, you will see this section changing. It will, it will reflect exactly the number of publications that are under your click so it none of them is mine so i need no click by the way you there's no point you making a claim to somebody else for it is an academic fraud okay so you continue doing the click until you get to yours if in a situation you are you are unable to get yours automatically here there is a way you can manually impute it okay so if this is mine i'm just going to do a then a click then I click next okay but if it is not mine i won't do a click then i'll continue <clears throat> scholar automatically finds your articles and changes to existing articles apply of this of course preferably you leave it this way now make my 
profile public you have the you have the freedom to either make your profile public or to leave it private public in the sense that if anybody goes on google scholar to search your name search you by your name if anybody goes on google scholar like this scholar.google.com and type in my name samuel johnson ojo so if i choose here make my profile public once the person click fine it will bring me hope but if i decided not to to make myself decided in the sense that i will not click this place if even if the person even if the person comes here and type in my full name and click on search it's not going to bring out anything related to me because my profile i decided or i chose to have it kept private okay but you might choose to have yours made public okay now followed by email if there are new articles or new citations you might choose to if you want google scholar to be sending you updates okay now after that you click the next you can see your profile now ready okay you see the name oh yeah i made a mistake here. instead of professor i said professor pf professor of education so if i need to edit this i simply click on this button i come back here so you can see it's corrected here you can see verified email at uniabuja.edu.ng okay that's the email address i use that's the official email address I use. in a situation where you used uh public email address public is like gmail.com you will see it here as well that is all about profiling yourself now let me quickly talk about how you can add articles on your google scholar profile okay there are two ways of getting that done the first one is by going through the databases of the database of google scholar itself automatically and that means that is what we did at first while we were trying to open it up you know google scholar brought out some suggestions google scholar will keep bringing them out that way so if it corresponds with your yours and it is correct you simply do a click on the button in front but this one that i click initially you could see it is not mine so i need no have it here so i'll just click here and delete it let me just delete it right away okay now if i intend to have a new one i come to this you can see this button here this plus button click on it you will see add article group add articles and add article manually so let's start if you are going to have you have you have articles that you published as groups as groups so you could search for it here you could see this is an example you could see 37 articles under this group so once i belong to that group if i do a click automatically 37 articles will be pulled up under me because this is like a group okay now the same thing applies to this under this you could see two articles under this you see five articles etc okay but i, I don't have i don't have any group i belong to right now so i will leave that so i want to add mine on the basis of suggestions given to me by google scholar okay now google scholar will give me suggestions on the basis of my name give me suggestions on the basis of my area of interest and all that so all i need to do is to be going through them and be seeing which one actually corresponds to mine and it is correctly mine okay when i've exhausted this first page i click on this next this arrow it will it will bring up others other suggestions i click on the next one We'll go through them go through them anyone that is your own you only you check this button you will see it selected one let me select these two you can see it has gone to two well i don't need that they are not mine okay i don't want to commit to academic fraud okay you keep doing that until you're done and you're able to you're satisfied so in a station where you have one or two or three of your articles not automatically suggested a that is the essence of the next one here you see add article manually click on add article manually here you can impute the journal type if it is a conference paper if it is just a book chapter if it is a book if it is thesis pretend court case and all that okay so the one i want to do is article journal article so you put the title here 
inputs the hot or hair, the publication name, the publication date rather, in this very format as a display, the journal name, the volume, the issue, the pages, and the publisher. Okay, so when you're done with everything, you click on this place. Click on this button. Once you click, you will see you will see the profile pull up here automatically. Okay. Yeah, so that is how to do a manual uh, addition of your, your 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 publications on Google Scholar. Okay. Next video, I'll be talking about how to do same on Scopus. I'll be talking about how to do same on Web of Science. Okay. Thank you, and kindly please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.